So I didn't feel like doing my hair today, but uh, when, when do I ever feel like doing my hair? Really, never. Hey everyone, it's Lainey and welcome to my channel. My hands are really dry right now. Today I have a nice hot steaming cup of tea instead of coffee because I've had to really cut back on the caffeine. So this is a nice black decaf spiced tea. It smells delicious. It's warming my hands because you guys, it's already so cold out and I'm just not too thrilled about it. Before we dive on into today's video, I have a question of the day. And today's question of the day is, I need some advice guys. So for quite a few months now, maybe close to a year, I don't know, time moves at such a strange pace. I believe it's been close to a year I've been doing the question of the day, which is where I start each video or at least like 95% of videos with the question of the day. And I love it because it helps me get conversation going in the comments. It helps me get to know you guys. But I've just noticed over like the last month or so, it seems like the question of the day hasn't been as much of a hit. I'm not getting as many people answering the questions. Maybe I'm just not thinking of good questions. I'm not gonna lie. I've asked so many questions now that I've, I've, I'm starting to kind of run out of questions. I need to be more creative with my questions. I go to think of my question and I just blank. I'm like, oh no. I've already asked that, that, okay, okay, oh gosh, I don't know what to ask. So let me know, do you think I should keep doing the question of the day or should I switch over to doing something like a welcome of the day where I welcome a new subscriber? So please, I love your feedback. Let me know down below if you want me to keep the question of the day or switch it up and do a welcome of the day. Come back to the question of the day later. Skip it all together. Just please, please leave your feedback down below. Today's video is my top five favorite primers and I believe I'm going to put in there for oily skin and large pores because that is my skin type. Honestly, the older I get, I'm leaning more kind of combo. I used to just be oily oily. Now I'm leaning combo and now that we're getting into winter here in the Midwest where it gets really freaking cold and dry, I'm actually just going to be pretty normal over winter time. But more of the year, I am leaning oily than not. So I think that's what this will be based around. I still think several of these will work for you if you have normal skin, even dry skin. But yeah, if you want to hear my top five favorite primers, then just keep watching. I had to laugh at myself as I was getting ready to, one, film this video, and two, for work today. I realized I forgot to put on primer today. How do you film? A primer video and forget to put on primer. So yes, let's just start. The first one I actually don't have in my collection right now because I used it all up. It was in my reverse rouge. I have an interesting reason for why this is number five. And I am going from my, I'm going from least favorite to favorite in this, just so you know. The first one is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. You guys, it was hard to put this in the fifth spot. It, re it, it was really hard to put this in the fifth spot, but there is a couple of reasons why it's number five. I truly love this primer. It is wonderful. It's beautiful. It's so luxurious. I love that it has actual skincare benefits. It's nice. But the reason I had to put it in number five is just because it's so dang expensive. It's so expensive. It's one of those products you almost feel guilty for purchasing because it's so expensive. And not only is it expensive, the shelf life is really, really short. Like, I think it's six months which I don't know about you, but in my makeup collection, like six months, that's like a blink of an eyelash and it, it's like, what? How? It's already expired. So that's why I had to put it in number five. Honestly, I love the look it gives me. I love the smoothing effect. I love the level of hydration because even when I'm oily, it doesn't make me more greasy or super shiny throughout the day. It's definitely not a mattifying primer. I will point that out. That's why this is one that will work for basically any skin type. It's definitely not a mattifying primer. So during the hot, hot summer, I still will get oily by the end of the day. But in the winter time, it does wonderful things for my skin and gives me just enough hydration. I just wish it was not so freaking expensive. It's so expensive. Oh my goodness. Number four is this little baby right here. Now we're going on the other end of the spectrum. This is super duper affordable. This is their Photo Focus Matte Stick Primer. There's several reasons I love this. I really do notice that my oils will wear much better throughout the day when I'm using this product. I also notice that it gives a nice smoothing effect to my skin. Large pores is a magle, magle. <laughs> that's not a word. Large pores are a major, there we go, major struggle for me. I have my dad's skin, he has large pores and oily skin, I got the same. So 
This really helps with both the oiliness and the pores, and I just love that it's a stick. Now, if I'm wanting an, a super glam day where I'm going all over primer and I want to be extra perfected, this probably wouldn't be my go-to since it is a stick. It would take a bit to really cover the whole face, but when I want that targeted primer action, I can go right in here, right in here, a little on the nose, a little on the forehead, a little on the chin, and really just target those areas that I want a smoothing, mattifying effect. It is pretty creamy. You don't, you don't have to put a lot of pressure at all to get the product to come off. Now, it's not one of those that like as soon as you put it on your skin, you feel like the whole stick kind of melt and shape to your hand. It's not that creamy, but it's the perfect level of creamy where you don't have to put a ton of pressure and you're definitely getting an application and you can really feel the smoothing effect like instantly on your skin. My hand feels so crazy smooth right now. I really do enjoy this product. I'm glad to have it in my stash and I really, really love the price tag. Also, I just think overall Wet n Wild is usually a very, oh, there's a stray hair right there. Overall, I just am usually pretty impressed with Wet n Wild products for the fact that they're a drugstore, the price tag, and the quality. Number three, I only have the mini right now. This is the Too Faced Primed in Peachy Mattifying Primer. First of all, if you haven't tried this line, you guys are missing out. I'm obsessed with so many of the products from this line. The foundation is beautiful if you have oily skin. The primer is also really, really good. It says cooling matte skin perfecting primer. I don't know about the cooling part. I don't notice any super like crazy cooling effects, but I do notice a lot of smoothing and a lot of mattifying. But it's not one of those that makes you overly matte. It has a little bit of a peachy tone which can really help color correct the skin. And I hope you can see on camera. Like instantly, my hand looks so smooth, almost like face-tuned that smooth. And it also, for being mattifying, it doesn't have an overly drying, like sucking all the moisture out of your skin type of feeling. It definitely will help control your oils throughout the day, but it has like a nice kind of refreshing feel to it. And it just gives such a smoothness to the skin. It really, really fills in those pores and if you Pair this with the Too Faced Peachy Matte Foundation. Oh my gosh, you will be having like the best skin day ever because seriously, the two are a match made in heaven. But you could pair this with any foundation and it will wear really beautifully. It absorbs quickly into the skin, which I like. Like right away, like my hand still feels smooth, but it has totally sunk into the skin, which makes it very easy to go in with your foundation and just get going on your makeup routine. I love this primer. The next primer is a recent love for me because I've had it in my stash for a while but I haven't really dived into trying it and now I've been trying to focus on using up some products so I've been using this every day and I've just really come to appreciate this primer. The second one is the ColourPop All Star Matte and Blur Primer. I really, really like this primer. Again, it's ultra affordable. Anything from ColourPop is. The quality is so, so good. I actually really do like that it's a squeeze tube product because I feel like it's very easy to get all of the product out there. You're not being left behind with like half of a product still, half of the product still in there and you can't get it out. The reason I've come to really like this is now that we're into fall and winter, let me apply a little bit. This is a unique mattifying primer. It's a very creamy product where the Too Faced is more whipped. This is a tr really creamy, lotiony feeling primer. And it does give a really nice hydration to the skin. I think this might be one of the most hydrating matte primers I've ever used. When I put it on my skin, I kind of feel my skin drink it in and I feel nice and plump and hydrated, but my oils wear really well throughout the day. It does smooth, it does blur, and it does help control that oil, but I just love for this time of year the level of hydration it gives my skin because even though I get oily in the T-zone right now, I still like feeling moisturized. I don't feel I don't like feeling like the Sahara Desert and every ounce of moisture has been sucked out of my skin by a primer. So this one gives a really nice level of hydration. Now, I don't think it's the most smoothing primer I've ever used, but this does a really nice job and it's totally perfect for this time of year. The number one primer I'm going to go with for my number one 
primer is one that I don't currently have in my collection. I'm going to try to find a clip from an old video and insert it in here somewhere. We'll see if I get tech enough to figure that out. But I did a whole video on this. It is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Now this is more high end. It's a bit more expensive, but this is one of the most unique primers in my opinion. So the Becca Backlight Priming Filter says it is infused with three unique filtering pearls, which each add a different drop of diffused light. This is definitely one of the more radiant primers I've ever used. It gives a true luminous radiant finish to the skin. Here's the thing, usually when you get like glowy primers, glowy products with oily skin, you can make them work, but they're not meant for oily skin. They don't work with our oils. They don't help our oils wear better throughout the day. There is something about this one and I don't know how, and I've even noticed in reviews I've seen of it online, a lot of people with oily skin say the same thing. My oils wear so well with this primer, even though it is ultra radiant, ultra luminous. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's some ingredient in there because it doesn't even list this as one of the reasons to buy it. But my oils wear so well and it gives the skin the most radiant, lit from within, glow from within type of look. If you had mature skin, and oily skin, I feel like this would be like the perfect primer because it gives you that youthful, radiant, just like va va boom glow from your skin that totally comes through no matter what foundation you put on it, but your oils wear with it, which is just phenomenal to me. It blows my mind because it is so hard to find something this radiant that also works with, like really works with oily skin. So that is why I'm putting it in the number one spot because it is incredible. I do wish it was maybe a bit more blurring since I have large pores, but I don't feel like it like crazy emphasizes them. I don't feel self-conscious about my pores when wearing it, but sure, yeah, a little more blurring would be nice. It just gives the most beautiful radiant glow to the skin. I love it. I really need to pick it up, but I have about 40 different primers here that I need to use first, so that's why I don't have it right now. But if you guys haven't tested it out, I really recommend it. You guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little top five video. I wanna start doing more things like this where I'm diving into products I really reach for or I'm really loving or things I've used from the past that still stick in my memory like wow, that is gonna be a repurchase. So definitely think these are fun. If you enjoy top five type videos, give this video a thumbs up. It helps me know what you guys wanna see. And yeah, that's everything. Let's do the shout out of the day. Today's shout out of the day is an OG subscriber, Sandra Guajardo. Sorry if I said your last name wrong. She has been one of my subscribers for such a long time and I seriously so appreciate her being here. She's always awesome commenting on my videos and just has stuck around so long. I really, really appreciate it. She commented on one of my recent videos saying that she really appreciates my honesty in videos. Oh my gosh, Sandra, thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate that. I appreciate your kindness. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? You won't regret it. Join the Lash Fam. We have the best fam here. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.